What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to solve problem 7.10 of the 4th edition of David Griffith's uh, Introduction to Electrodynamics. The problem reads, A square loop side A is mounted on the vertical shaft and rotated at an angular velocity omega, as seen in the figure. A uniform magnetic field point to the right. Find the... Uh, uh, EMF as a function of time for this alternating current generator. Okay, now let's look at the figure first. So this is your square loop wherein each side is A. The magnetic field is to the right and the direction of the rotation is in this direction. So if you have an alternating current generation, so that means uh, the, uh, the direction of the current will remain the same regardless of the orientation of the uh, of the loop okay so now in this case the omega will now be a constant okay so if we're going to change the orientation wherein we're going to look from top view okay so in that case, so let's say at a certain moment, this has already rotated like this. So let's say with the top view, this is the, the side. Okay, so this side would be A. Okay. Now, if this is the original orientation of this loop, okay, so the direction would be like this. Okay, so this becomes alpha. So that means uh, if this is the direction of your area vector this will be theta okay okay so that means this air vector uh, changes uh, as a function of time and that change is uh, that that rate of change is a constant and that is equal to omega so that means this is theta over t now if the magnetic field is in this direction and that is uniform so therefore the flux on this area the magnetic flux on this area would be equal to b that A, where A is the constant area of your square loop, and B is your uniform magnetic field. Okay, so by definition of the dot product, this is equal to B A cosine theta. Okay, where theta is the angle between B and A. And the area of your square loop would be small a squared. So this is b a squared cosine theta. And because theta is equal to omega t, so therefore the flux will now become a function of t. It's now equal to b a squared cosine omega t. So this tells you that the flux passing through this area due to this magnetic field will vary sinusoidally. Since by flux rule, we're in the induced EMF due to the changing magnetic flux is given by the negative derivative of the flux with respect to time. So we just differentiate this with respect to time 
if you take the negative, so this is now equal to omega b squared a squared times sine omega t. And this is the induced EMF. That varies with time. That's why it's called an alternating current. So the if you're going to graph the uh, EMF as a function of time, so this maximum value would be equal to omega b squared a squared. Okay? So this is negative omega uh, b squared a squared. And the this function will now be, this is e, it's a function of time. So this function will now be alternating current. So this is now an alternating current. Okay, and this is exactly what happens or what is produced by your usual generators. So your usual generators are generating uh, alternating current. And that's why in your, in our usual plugs, in your in your homes we have an ac alternating current and the rating is usually 220 volts ac so that's volts ac so this is in volts and this is alternating current okay so that is the answer for problem 7.10 of fourth edition of Griffiths. okay so i hope you learned something today and thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next. Bye-bye.